Inflection AI has upgraded their personal assistant Pi with their latest LLM Inflection 2.5 which they claim to be competitive with say GPT-4 and Gemini. Uh, so Pi is their uh, Inflection AI's uh, personal assistant, personal AI assistant which is supposed to have a signature personality and unique uh, empathy or uh, you know they have trained it with uh, a signature personality and empathetic fine tuning okay so this inflection 2.5 uh, their latest llm uh, what they are saying is that it approaches gpt force performance but used only 40 percent of the amount of compute for training okay it also has real-time web search capabilities okay so it's an up-to-date llm right uh, so users get high quality breaking news and up-to-date information uh, you can actually test pi out currently all you need is an account and you can chat with pi so i tested it out whether to see you know uh, it has uh, internet connectivity and it is updated with recent news so i asked this question like what is a recent issue for people in bengaluru and it rightly said that one recent issue affecting people in bengaluru is the ongoing water crisis uh, due to shortage of water resources and drying up of bore wells uh, there is this issue um, there is uh, this serious uh, it is a serious issue which highlights the importance of sustainable water management in rapidly growing cities like bengaluru okay so it has access to recent uh, news and internet okay i asked another question also regarding you know uh, you know based on latest opinion polls like uh, you know i asked a question like uh, you know who has a chance in the 2024 indian general elections and then it you know uh, gave this response now why is this a uh, more uh, emphatic uh, empathetic or conversation oriented assistant compared to others if you see over here when i asked this question it gave this response saying um, you know incumbent prime minister narendra modi has a better chance and then it says who do you think has a better chance of becoming the next indian prime minister so it wants to you know kind of continue the conversation so i i just said that how does my opinion matter and then says it your opinion matter even though you might not eligible to vote here it assumes right then i say why did you assume that uh, you know do you follow indian politics closely so it is kind of uh, trying to maintain some kind of a personal conversation over here with the end user okay so that is the kind of personality this particular tool has okay for example if i were to ask questions like uh, you know i am uh, burned out out uh, with i am burned out in my current job let's see what it gives right so it says burnout is a real challenge uh, some things you should try is this thing if you are comfortable sharing what specifically about your job is causing you to feel burned out keeping up with technology keeping up with ai tech let's see what it gives it's a common concern these days ai is advancing at a rapid pace and it is difficult so it tries to kind of create, uh, you know, maintain a conversation, right? Additionally, there are many resources available to help you to stay with. Have you tried any of these resources? Okay. So I said I can, I have tried out, tried out YouTube videos. But they have clickbait content okay you can also you know enable audio and uh, it can generate you know unfortunately that's a common issue with youtube it can while there are many great ai tutorials and resources on youtube there's also a lot of clickbait and low quality content some tips for finding reliable ai content on youtube include okay so Check. you have these different voices. Unfortunately, that's a common issue with YouTube. You don't have... Uh, you have Unfortunately, that's here. a common issue with YouTube. While there are many great AI tutorials and resources on YouTube, there's also a lot of clickbait 
and low quality content some tips for finding reliable ai content okay yeah so this was just a couple of things which i tried over here there are other things also which i want to discuss over here let me go back to their uh, blog and see what is the kind of uh, you know the other things which they are saying over here uh, they are saying that they have close to 1 million daily and 6 month uh, 6 million monthly active users who have now exchanged more than 4 billion messages with pi an average conversation on pi lasts 33 minutes and 1 in 10 lasts an hour each day 60% of the people who talk to pi on any given week return the following week that's what they are talking about their platform right and with inflection 2.5's powerful capabilities, uh, they are users are talking to about Pi to a greater range of topics like discussing current exams, you know, all these different things, right? So here are the technical results which they talk about, uh, you know, uh, how uh, inflection one is or uh, inflection 2.5 is better than inflection one over here, and how close it is to GPT-4 on various benchmarks over here that's what they are saying over here right and they are saying this was trained only with 40 percent of the training required for gpt4 okay that is what they are saying over here right and then they show these benchmarks across different uh, you know bench uh, you know across uh, different benchmarks uh, they show improved performance of inflection 2.5 over inflection 1 uh, and being slightly closer to gpt4 in terms of performance Okay, that is what they talk about over here. Uh, this is on Hungarian math, physics, GRE, how this model performs when compared to GPT-4. Right. Uh, this is on the MMLU and GPQA diamond uh, benchmark. Uh, this is these two benchmarks measuring performance across a wide range of tasks from high school to professional level difficulty, which is MMLU. And uh, there is this uh, GPQA diamond benchmark, which is a difficult expert level benchmark. This is in the STEM areas, basically, right? So these are the benchmarks where they are showing the performance of inflection 2.5 over inflection 1 improvement and closer to GPT-4. Okay, so they're just showing the performance of this particular model across various benchmarks and how this model has improved over inflection 1. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't go into the details of this performance uh, uh, benchmarks. You can read it over here. Uh, what else is there? Okay. And you can try Pi basically uh, currently. That is what they are saying over here. So let's go back to Pi. And I wanted to try some technical things over here. And, uh, you know, I wanted some things like, uh, you know, maybe this question where I was talking about, you know, what is your views on LLMs being self-aware? Is it even a possibility? It says self-awareness in LLMs is a pretty fascinating topic. In the strictest sense, current LLMs are not self-aware. They are designed to process and generate languages based on patterns and patterns and data that they have been trained on. Okay. However, as LLM becomes more advanced, you have the debate of whether they are self-aware or other thing. And then it asks, it's a complex and thought-provoking topic. What are your views on this? So it always kind of, it is designed in a way that it keeps coming back to you to maintain a conversation, right? I just asked like is Cloud3 or Cloud uh, GPT-4 self-aware, which is better. So it knows about Cloud3 GPT-4 because it's able to access the internet, okay? And it has like all current LLMs, uh, you know, uh, they are not self-aware uh, in the way humans are. Uh, they have different strengths and weaknesses. Now, what is your definition of better? Then I can say which is better, okay? So each may be suited for a particular task. That's what, then I ask like, which is better at extracting structured content from text like NER, named entity recognition. It says both are good, but Cloud3 has been specifically designed to excel at tasks like NER and text summarization. So it might have, you know, uh, slightly better performance than GPT-4. That being said, GPT-4 is also powerful. It really depends on specifics of task and data. Then it asks like, have you tried using in either model for NER? I will say no, I have tried Spacey. Let's see what it says. Okay. Ah, Spacey is a great choice for NER. Spacey uses a combination of machine learning. How did you find Spacey for any? What did it meet your expectation? So it kind of tries to maintain the conversation. Okay. 
there is one more uh, kind of a technical task which i wanted to try over here which talks about i have a very technical question i have a lecture video and would want to automatically create a summary video what are the approaches okay so it says there are approaches using ai there is transcript based summarization then there is video segmentation okay it kind of gives out what are the approaches which are there and then it asks you do you have any specific techniques or tools in mind then i say that can we get into the details of video segmentation then it says what is this technique of video segmentation whereby you divide the video into shots extract features from each shot cluster the shots into segment okay uh, and then you can generate a summary okay another thing it then asks uh, then i ask like do you have any specific question about any of this i said can you generate python code it uses a simple python code using uh, cv2 where it does something like differences between frames to find if the frames are different and then based on that it extracts some segments okay then i ask like what does this particular function cv2.norm do in the above code then it says it's a function which calculates distance between any two arrays okay so here all it does is that it finds if the frames are uh, dissimilar and based on that it creates segments okay uh, similar frames are grouped into segments and it uh, does it so that is what it does over here then i say can you make the above code a little bit more generic and complex because this seems to be a very simple method right then it says that okay you identify similar frames you do clustering on that and then you can do uh, you know uh, feature extraction clustering and then you can create segments similar segments and you can extract them okay it gives out this code so whatever with little interaction i'm seeing over here uh, it is uh, a good model okay subjective again subjective opinion uh, it tries to maintain that conversation and uh, it uh, you can try out different things over here okay there are some examples over here like this uh, right uh, where you can uh, you know uh, these are if you see the generation is so fast because it is just cached and they are just showing the response over here okay uh, and uh, you know this is about animals right we are animals you have heard of some examples are there over here uh, at the moment i think this is a purely text only model i don't see image interactions over here you cannot upload image or upload any files over here it's more about text uh, conversations okay but this is an interesting development uh, uh you know some examples are shown over here right uh, and the key differentiator what they are saying between say pi and other digital assistants are that this has an uh, unique personality and empathetic fine tuning that's what they claim over here is being different from other models okay and they say there is this is the world's best personal ai so their whole concept is personalization based on a personality or based on how you, you interact yeah so this is about inflection 2.5 um so you can um, you know i'll be putting the link to this blog you can check it out you can try out pi for your tasks you can try having a conversation with pi right and see if it is useful to you okay i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video